Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's lunchtime with the Habit Master. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I help people change their bad habits. When you change your habits, you change your life. Today is Basics Thursday, and what I thought I'd talk about a little bit was five habits that you have to get rid of if you wanna lose weight. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The first one that you gotta think about is you gotta get rid of the junk food, right? If it's in your house, what are you gonna do? The likelihood of you eating it, right? Of consuming it is pretty high because it's convenient, it smells good, it looks good in the funky wrapper, right? You know it tastes awesome. But in order for you to start thinking about losing weight, you gotta get rid of it. You gotta get rid of anything that's not gonna be on whatever diet. Hey Don, what's up girl? You have to get rid of anything in the house that is going to keep you from obtaining your weight goal, right? And in order to do that, you just can't buy it. You gotta get rid of whatever's there. I don't care if you think, oh, well, I'm wasting food. No, get rid of it. Hey, hey, get rid of it. You don't want it in your house, stop buying it, okay? If it's not gonna make you skinny, don't buy the stuff, okay? And I understand, everybody has kids, everybody, you know, they gotta have little treats or, or, or whatever, but until you get to your ideal weight, the weight that you wanna be on, you gotta get rid of anything, any obstacle that's in your way, okay? Uh, number two, when you get home from work, don't just change your clothes, you know, maybe you wear a uniform like me, I got my scrubs on, you know, whatever. Don't just take your clothes off, change into something comfy, and plop your butt on the couch, okay? You need to get out. Hopefully the kids have some kind of activity or something that they need to do, right? That's a good thing. Get out of the house, start moving your body. I don't care how tired you are, get moving. Hey Nancy, how are you, hun? Make sure you get moving, okay? And if you can, if you have some time, go straight to the gym. Don't even worry about the kids. Somebody else will worry about that. Let the skinny people worry about your children for about an hour. Go do an activity, go to the gym and work out, right? Number three, you put off eating healthy when it's convenient, okay? You're running around, you got a soccer game or practice, you're late, right? And everybody's starving. So what is the likelihood of you to do is to go and grab some fast food, right? Okay, well that, I understand that. Everybody has kids, everybody's, you know, tired when they get off of work, you know, whatever. The problem is you're sabotaging your own diet, right? You're sabotaging the way you should be eating and the likelihood of you being successful in your weight loss journey. So yeah, you can still go out to a restaurant or something if you don't have time, but guess what? Go somewhere where you know that they have awesome options for you to do. You're not going to McDonald's. Yeah, they have salads there, but probably not the best salad that you can get, okay? I know it's a little more expensive to go to you know, a nicer restaurant, but yeah, just like Nancy said, make it ahead of time, okay? And we're gonna get into that too, but <clears throat> make sure that you know you're, you're running late. Everybody has a, a day where things are, don't work out the way that you, know, you think they're gonna turn out, right? When that happens, just try to set your up for success, right? So make sure that you have healthy options available to you so that if you do go out to a restaurant or whatever, that you know, you're, you're gonna keep with uh, your diet and, and stay on your weight loss journey. Number four not eating leftovers. So just like what Nancy said, trying to be prepared. Well, guess what, your highness? You're not the king or queen. You don't have servants or butlers or whatever to cook your food every single day, right? You and I, were just average Joes and obviously we gotta eat. So that either means you have to make it or you have to go out and have someone else make it, okay? Now, you can make a big pot of something and then eat it for lunch for a few days. I do that all the time. I bring my own lunch. It saves me money, obviously, and I'm pretty frugal if you don't know that by now. Uh, but also, I can get to control what I'm putting in my pie hole, right? 
I know that whatever soup I've made, or like today I ate my normal keto pancakes, keto uh, sausage and eggs, you know, that keeps me on my diet. I know exactly the portion size that I need to consume, and I know it's gonna keep me on my weight loss journey because that's the last thing I wanna do is sabotage it by, you know, doing something that uh, is going to make me uh, uh, gain weight, right? Because I've worked too hard to lose it. I don't want to get rid of it, right? I want to keep it off. I want to stay healthy and strong. And the last one, number five, is your mindset. You got to get out of your comfort zone. If you want to change something, you got to actually change something. You can talk about it. You can think about it, but until, especially weight loss, until you start moving your body, nothing's going to happen. And then you're going to still fit in your fat clothes. You're still going to be chunky. You're still going to hate yourself and be all depressed because you're not doing what you need to do to actually be successful. And to do that, you got to get out of your mindset first, and then you actually have to start moving your body. Okay? Remember, Calories in have to be less than calories out, right? When you burn off more than what you're consuming, that's when you start losing weight. Once you hit that level that you're happy with and you feel strong and healthy, then you just maintain. And it's truthfully so much easier to maintain than it is when you first start out. I understand that, right? Hey, Mary, how are you? So I understand that. And you just have to have the desire and the willingness to try something different, okay? Now, when you're starting a weight loss journey, get your mindset, I'm gonna do it, okay? Give yourself six months and say, I'm gonna at least hit something in six months. Let's say it's 10 pounds or 15 pounds. You can totally do that in that time frame. It's very, very easy to do, okay? Make sure you know you have a plan, that you know, you know what you're gonna do, you know how you're gonna do it, and you're gonna inform all of your family members, your kids, your hubby, whatever. You're gonna be like, look, three days a week I gotta go to the gym or I have to go to yoga class or Zumba or Taekwondo or whatever. Guess what, that's my time. You gotta help take over the kids' activities. They're gonna love it because you're gonna feel better about yourself, you're gonna be healthier, and you're gonna look good, right? Everybody wants to look good for their spouse, right? Or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Sounds easy, but it's not hard. It's, it is. It's hard at times. Hi, Joe. So, you know, I understand it's hard, but five habits that you have to give up if you're going to start on your weight loss journey. Number one, get rid of the junk food. Don't even buy it. Don't look at it. Don't have it in your house. Don't have it in your car. Don't have it in your pocket. Don't be around it. When you go in the aisles of the um, supermarket, just pass that aisle. Don't even go down it because you're going to be tempted to buy it. And of course, if you buy it, you're going to want to eat it, right? Number two, when you go home from work, don't plop down on the, on the furniture and not do anything the rest of the night. That's the time for you to stay active. I know you're tired. I'm tired too, right? But hurry up, get it over with. Do some kind of activity, some kind of you know workout, whatever. Number three, you put off eating until it's convenient. Be prepared, have some leftovers, and uh, you know if you need to go out because you're running um, low on time, make sure you go to a restaurant that has healthy options so that the kids can eat something that they need to eat, but you're also consuming what you're supposed to consume so that you lose the weight that you want to because you can't succeed, but you got to set yourself up for that. Number four, not eating leftovers. I'm sorry, king and queen of America, but you got to start eating some leftovers, okay? Make a big pot of something. I make all kinds of stuff that I freeze and then I, you know, eat when I need to eat it. It sets me up for success and it sets me up so that I'm not eating the crap that's going to make me gain the weight that I've worked very, very hard for the last two and a half years to keep off. And number five, your mindset. Get out of your comfort zone, start moving, and do things different. The, the reason why you have the results that you do is because you keep doing the same thing. So change it up, tweak it, get the mindset that I'm going to succeed, and you just have to keep going at it. Once you do lose the weight, then you just have to maintain. It's easy because you're going to be like, hey, I'm fitting into these clothes and I don't want to go back to my fat clothes. Get rid of the fat clothes. 
get rid of them. You don't need them anymore because this time you're actually going to do it and you're going to stay the weight that you want. Hey, Nancy, I make a lot and freeze a lot, and I do too. And that's an easy way for you to keep on your diet is to, to use a freezer, get an extra freezer, do whatever you got to do to keep and maintain the weight that you desire. So that's it for me today. I hope this uh, was helpful for you. Remember, you can catch us out on um, iTunes and Spotify. Look for Lunchtime with the Habit Master channel uh, shows. You can also catch us on YouTube, um, Instagram, and TikTok. I just started a TikTok show. So you could check us out at the Habit Master channel. Subscribe and follow. So that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and let's build good habits together. Getting stuck is easy. Getting unstuck is not so easy, unless you know how. Whether it's personally or professionally, the steps to change are exactly the same. There's a clear-cut formula to living the life you want and deserve. Are you ready to make a change? It's easier than you think. Go to thehabitformulabook.com and get yourself a free copy. Remember, you don't even have to read it. Just do the exercises at the end of each chapter. If you want me to hold your hand, upgrade your order to the premium course. These principles are the same steps I took to work 25% less and make 30% more. If you seriously want to change something in your life, thehabitformulabook.com will show you how. And get yourself a free copy or upgrade to the premium course for even better and faster results. And get unstuck today. thehabitformulabook.com